Okay, so this is a demo video showing you how to uh, file and finish uh, materials. So we're going to look at some timber, some acrylic and some metal. So, uh, firstly I'm going to show you the different types of file. Uh, this, these two are flat or hand files, so if you look at their cross section, they're rectangular. Um, and we've got a fine, finer file and a more coarse file. So remember, in terms of finishing materials, we're finishing by wasting. Uh, so I would use the coarse file first and then I would use the finer file. The other thing to mention on these files is there is a safe edge and the other side is abrasive. So if you're fired, depending what shape you're filing, you need to be careful where you put that abrasive surface. So you want to, if you're doing something inside, which we're going to do today, uh, you want to put that safe edge where you don't want to abrade away or waste away any material. So they're flat or hand files. Then we've got some different shaped files for different um, spaces. So this is a half round file, so that's like a, a crescent. And we've got a round file, so that's circular. Uh, we've got a triangular file and a square file. Focus is not great. Uh, so, I'm going to show you two techniques that we can use our files on a piece of pine or timber. So I want to try and get this as flat as possible, so I'm going to put it in my wood vise. And then I'm going to use my flat hand file to do, the first technique is called cross filing. So cross filing is what you would do on any type of material, me uh, wood, metal or, or acrylic. And you want to put your file at an angle on your material and then you are filing this way. And then with any finishing material you use progressively finer grades. So if I'm happy with that way I might switch to the finer the finer file and then the papers. So cross filing my file is at an angle and I'm just going back and forwards. The other method or technique is called draw filing. So this is where my file is um, at right angles to the material and I am drawing it back and forth. So the idea here is that you're getting rid of some of the marks that you would have made cross filing and helping it get flatter, straighter. So cross filing and draw filing. So that technique you can use on any of the different materials. So you can see this is cross filing from a, mu a much better angle. And then draw filing would be backwards and forwards over the material. What we also have here are needle files. So these are just smaller versions of those larger files I showed you before, but they come in similar sizes and they're for just um, more detail, finer places you'd like to file or finish. This tool here is called a file card, so it's like metal bristles. And what you would do is you would use it to clean your files. So you just gently go up and down, getting rid of any sawdust that's in the, in the grooves. So this is a file card. So we might have different um, shapes that we want to file. So this is where those different shape files are gonna come in handy. So this is my comb joint I made. So I, want, I might want to file this bit a bit flatter. So I'm gonna use my hand, my hand or flat file and again, so that corner here, knowing where the safe edge on my file is going to be quite important because I don't want to use the abrasive surface in the corner here. So I need to make sure my safe edge lines up there so I don't wear away any material. And again, I put it in my wood vise and I would file um, and waste away the material to get a nice, smooth, flat finish. 
And then here, if I want to have a curved shape, um, I might choose the half round file there to get that nice curved shape. If I've got a circle, it's, it's maybe not quite the right shape for a circle, so I'd probably use my round file to smooth this edge. Again, I would put it in a wood vise. I'm just showing you like this because of the camera angle. And then equally, you've got the triangular file and the square file, which you might choose a different uh, shaped hole or space that you want to finish. Okay, once you've filed your material, you might want to use then, to, for a finer finish, you might want to use abrasive paper. So for each of the three materials we're looking at, wood, metal, acrylic, there's different types of abrasive paper. So for timber, you might, and for all of them, there are the grades, the smaller the number, the, um, the coarser the abrasive paper is. So for timber, what I've got here is some glass sandpaper. So these two are P60. So you can see they're slightly rough. And then this one is a P120. So if you compare the two against each other, the P60 is a lot more abrasive than the P120. So you would wrap it around a piece of um, a cork block. Again, you'd put your wood or material, any material, into a wood vise or a metal vise, and you would gently work your material till you had a nice smooth finish. And again, like the files, where you work from the coarsest to the finest, it's the same with abrasive papers. You work from the coarsest to the finest. For acrylic, once you've filed it, same methods using cross and draw files, you might want to use some wet and dry paper. Uh, so you can use it wet or dry and you would gently scrape the edges. So again, it's very easy to kind of hold it like this, but that would be quite dangerous because you would scratch the surface of your acrylic. So for acrylic, it's wet and dry paper. And then for metal, any metal, you might want to use emery cloth. So the difference here is that the back, it actually does feel like a cloth. So if you look, this is the glass paper, that's paper, whereas the emery cloth does have like a cloth backing on it. And again, once you've filed that, you would use your emery cloth and the cork block to, file, to do a final finish on the edges of your metal. So I'm just going to show you how I might file a piece of aluminium. So this is quite a rough cut. Um, I'm using a metal vise for this because it's just slightly smaller. So to protect my material, I'm going to use these soft jaws. So I could use these for acrylic or for pine as well, but definitely for metal because it's, it, it's going to imprint. So they fit into my wood, my metal vise. And with any material, you want to try and get your material as low into the vise as possible so that it doesn't bend or warp or bounce. You want it to be hold, held really securely, so as low in the vise as possible. Then I'm going to use my file. I'm going to start by cross filing. Because aluminium, this aluminium is quite thin, it doesn't take much. And then I'm just going to finish by draw filing. So with metal, to just get the burr off, you can just use the edge of your file to gently file the edges. So it's just not as sharp. 